Secondly, what is the future of America in the context of the resurgence of white nationalism and the need for equal justice for all Americans? Second question is uh, regarding the need for political leadership that answers these times of division, of racism, of hatred, of bigotry. And what I want to assure everyone who's tuned in today is that I will never uh, stoop to or indulge or excuse or apologize for the political tactics of Donald Trump and uh, the GOP under his leadership which is sought to divide Americans along racial and religious lines. I will stand tall and be an outspoken defender of the civil rights, human rights, and human dignity of every single citizen of our state, regardless of race, regardless of religion, regardless of national origin. This is a time when we are all called to be Americans first and foremost, not to be divided into tribes uh, or groups that are pitted against one another. Uh, and as the son of an immigrant, I take very seriously uh, the responsibility to defend those who have come to the United States striving for opportunity, seeking shelter and refuge from persecution and war. Uh, and I will never scapegoat our immigrant community, our refugee community, uh, or any of our communities based upon where they come from, what language they speak, what religion they practice. You're America has no future as a white nationalist society or as a white supremacist nation. In fact, the bedrock principle of this great country of ours is that all people are created equal, and we are all charged with the duty to ensure that principle is evoked and enforced every single day. And so, unfortunately, we have had a president and many other elected leaders who in this time have incited those who hold hatred too close to their heart and who would use government as a weapon to divide us, that has to end. Those individuals are unfit to serve. Who we elect matters and it is time we turn our attention to electing only those people that understand the weighty fiduciary duty of ensuring that our government is used as a tool to solve our problems and bring us together as a community. So as your next United States Senator, know that I will appropriate funds to invest in the FBI and in the Justice Department so that we can investigate domestic terrorist groups such as the white nationalist and the white supremacist to make sure that these groups are stamped out as the criminals that they are, those that would disrupt our civic stability. And know also as a United States Senator who has the authority to confirm or deny a recommendation and appointment to both the FBI and the Justice Department that I will never confirm somebody who does not hold the principle of equality and justice of all people as one of their dearest, most fervent beliefs. That's what you'll get from me. And I look forward to being your United States Senator pursuing justice, equality, and respect for all, all people is what is the future of America with respect to the resurgence of white nationalism? Um, and the first answer is here, we have got to elect a new president. Um, this tone is very much set at the top when the president of the United States chooses to call people marching in a neo-Nazi march in Charlottesville, very fine people. He sends the wrong message and empowers these very small and very vocal fringe groups in our society. It is critical that we have a president who can not only distinguish fact from fiction, but who will be able to lead in terms of setting the tone in our country that we have a mission. And that mission is to eliminate white nationalism, racism, Islamophobia, and bigotry wherever it lives in this country. We've seen a shocking rise in attacks on our houses of worships. We've seen a rise in anti-Semitic attacks. And in general, we've seen that senators like David Perdue have largely said nothing as these hateful groups have risen in the Trump administration. So the first thing I would do is ensure that we elect Joe Biden, the next president of the United States. The second thing I would do is as a United States senator, senator ensure that I do my job. That means providing a check and balance against the executive, no matter which president or from which party is in power. 
It means ensuring that we put together policies that are inclusive of all aspects of American society, that no matter what you look like or who you love or how or if you pray, uh, you are included and valued in the American dream.